If you want cheap Microsoft points and game codes, check out g2a.com. Link is in the description below. Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you a video. Is the offline foot birthday tournament worth it? Now, this is a video that I should have done three or four days ago, so I do apologize for that. My schedule's been absolutely shit. I've barely uploaded, and there's reasons for that, but it's the Easter holidays now. And anyway, on to why you've actually clicked on the video. So, obviously, you know uh, this tournament's been there for like five days or whatever. I think it's got two more days left, and it takes roughly about nine hours, eight to ten hours, roughly, uh, to do this and win it seven times. Now, I had literally no coins when I started this. I, I deliberately bought loads of players, so I had like minimal coins. So by the end of it, you'll see how much I earned from winning this offline thing seven times. Now, the prize prizes that you get, you get an untradeable 7.5k pack the first time you win it, then you get, I think it's 3,000 coins as you can see here, I'm just showing you the highlights of me winning it, obviously the gameplay is irrelevant because it's offline, but anyway, 3,000 for the second time you win it, then you get a 25k all rare pack, which is the one where you get rare consumables and rare players etc, which I've just won there, um, then you get 5 thousand then you get the other 25k pack then 7000 coins and then a 50k pack and yet yeah, basically i'm just going to uh, tell you if i think it's worth putting this time into the game now it, it also depends how i mean bo <laughs> it's so boring offline like th there's no other way to describe it it really is professional it's fairly easy to win on professional but it's just really really boring because the computer just likes taking possession so you're gonna have to literally power through which is what i did i've only done this for a video purpose really uh i don't really need the coins as much as some other people now it also depends how how many coins or if you're prepared to put money into the game if you're not prepared to put money in the game then i don't really see the point in you doing this purely because if you do put money in it in the game even 2200 fifa points you're probably gonna get roughly through discords you're going to get at least 30,000 which is how much you would get roughly for playing the games obviously you get 107,000 worth of packs uh, but they're untradeable and the chances are you're not going to get amazing players and if you do obviously you can't sell them so you're going to have to use it so it just depends on what your situation is if you're someone who really likes to play the game and doesn't put money into the game then I would say it is worth it because it is roughly 30 to 35,000 for roughly around 9 hours of gameplay which is perfectly like that is insane for FIFA like if you just play matches obviously you only get 500 to 800 coins per match and then usually tournament rewards are nowhere near as high as what they are for this tournament especially offline games so that would be uh, difficult to accumulate that amount in nine hours of gameplay in regular tournaments or drafts or divisions and things like that so on on the grand scheme of things i would it, it really depends on your situation in terms of me it wasn't really worth it because nine hours of gameplay is a lot long time and the packs that i got were really really bad and it was only 30k whereas you know 2200 fifa points would get me that because i'm prepared to put some money into the game so for me it wasn't worth it but if you do not uh, like put money into the game then I would say it was worth it so basically it just depends if you're prepared to give a year money if you are it's not worth it if you aren't then it certainly is as you can see I got really really bad things in my packs uh, my best was Diego Alves in the 50k pack you get in the seventh round hopefully if you do do it let me know what you get tweet me pictures uh, uh, at Melvin7 of your packs or whatever and uh, let me know if you think it's worth it personally I, as I've said, it is if you're going to put money into the game. Sorry, it isn't if you're going to put money into the game, but it is if you're not. Anyway, let me know what you think. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And yeah, peace.